Hi, and welcome to Bible Practice. My name is Mike, and uh, it's today the 25th, and I think it's Bible Practice 46 or 47. I'll put it up in the, on the, I'll label it as I, and when I finish it. Um, I don't think I, I think I missed yesterday. I had a rough day yesterday, and uh, a lot of things happened. Um, I finally <clears throat> stepped in and took care of you know business with the Lord, and uh, turned to Him on stuff because I were, things were out of control for me yesterday, and that was a good thing. See, He's always there, and He wants us to turn to Him when we when we just lose it. Then that's the time you've got to go to Him because He He never loses it. And um, he'll protect you and and take care of you. He understands your faults. And um, the uh, today's passage was uh, was interesting because uh, today's little thing that I have spiritual inspiration. I read it says starts with rest in my presence, allowing me to take charge of this day. Do not bolt into the day like a racehorse suddenly released. Instead, walk purposefully with me, letting me direct your course one step at a time. Thank me for each blessing along the way. This brings joy to both you and me. And it um, goes on to other stuff, but I don't know if I, you know, I agree with that 100%. And, uh, but it's tough because we get up and um, I find myself tending to bolt into the day, you know. I got to do this, I got to do that. Actually, um, I had a call from the, uh, the VA and I had to bring another sample to them. So I had to go to uh, Middletown this morning and uh, take, a, take a sample to them for some testing. And... Um, they're trying to find out if there's anything wrong. And, you know, I just give it to the Lord. If there's something wrong, then he, he wants it to be wrong for his purpose. And uh, if not, then he'll correct it. And uh, I think he's already started doing that anyway. That's what I feel now today. But uh, yesterday it was... Uh, I can remember when I used to read a book called God Calling. One of the one of the daily inspirations in there always said that when you get upset with other people around you or situations, you need to look at that situation or person and not look at what's wrong with them or the situation, but turn your eyes inward and look at yourself and find out what's wrong inside you so that you can eliminate that problem and um, I didn't do that I remember reading it and this goes along with why I call this Bible practice although that wasn't a quote from the Bible I, I'm sure it's in the Bible somewhere in textually you know it'll, it'll be found in the either the Old and the New Testament maybe not word for word but meaning the same thing and uh, it's a very difficult thing to do, especially when the situations are occurring or you're having a difficulty with somebody, to, to stop right then and turn inward. Look at yourself. Because what's wrong is not in them or in the situation. It's inside you. And I, in hindsight, I could see that now. Um, but a lot of times that keeps happening to me, and so I haven't learned it yet. I haven't learned how to do it. So I have to ask the Lord to help me with that and um, thank him for the opportunities for, for to be there. You see, God controls everything in our lives. So that's what I think people sometimes think, well, if God controls everything, why can't he just make everything perfect? That's for later. It's not now. In this world, which he created, it's a fallen world. It's under the curse of death. And 
It's going to be that way. There'll always be problems here. Problems don't end and perfection doesn't begin until you step through the gate and through the door of Jesus into heaven. Then things change. But while you're here, but even while you're here and, and things are in flux and, 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 and going badly, you can still, you've still got the Lord Spirit here with you, right inside you, right next to you, before you, um, clearing the way and trying to make things a little easier for you. Doesn't mean that you don't have to suffer some of the things that are going to happen, because you're going to. And um, that's being human and being in the flesh and being in this world. That's going to, the way it is. And it, it's, there's no magic dust that you sprinkle on yourself and void that. There are some people you look at and say, well, if they have enough money and if they have enough power, if they have enough freedom, then they can control their own destiny. Well, maybe here in this world, you know, money can buy a lot of things. Time, you can have a lot of freedom. You go to any store. You don't have to worry if you have thousands and thousands of dollars. It can make your life seem here very easy. But that's here. When you go through the doorway to to the other side, is you don't take your money with you. No, you have to be ready, and you have to go through the door of Jesus to get in. Otherwise, you don't have anything. You get nothing. So, and again, I always say that because people look at you like. Goo -goo. That's one thing I, 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 when I began all this, I, I realized that. I said, so I called the, I got an email address, cuckoo for Jesus, because that's where I am. I'm crazy for Jesus. Do I make mistakes? Yeah, absolutely. Do I let him down? Absolutely. Okay. Don't mean to. He knows that. Don't want to. He knows that. Does he still love me? Unconditional. Unconditional. The radical concept that the world just doesn't get. Unconditional love. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So, today's a little better for me, and tomorrow will be a little better. So, we fall down. So, you pick yourself up. He'll pull you up by the seat of your pants. Come on. Let's go. Or you could just sit and say, oh, gee, I feel good. I can't do this. I'm just, I'm no good. I'm this, you know. You can jump into that pit of self-pity. Don't want to do that. Very difficult to get out of. Very difficult to get out of. And uh, so I'd be giving praise and thanks to God and stay away from those pitfalls. And he, the other day, mentioned three, I think I mentioned three of them in one of the videos. Those are things you, you don't want to go near. Stay as far away as you can. He doesn't want you going near that. Just stay with him. You'll be okay, because he doesn't go near that. <laughs> All the time on earth when he was suffering, he did not pity himself. When the Romans were beating the ever-loving bejesus out of him and hitting him and ripping his flesh open, nailing him to the cross. He did not, he felt the pain, but he did not feel pity for himself. For one thing, he knew what his purpose was, and that was to suffer for the salvation of mankind. And he knew where he was going. And that's where he ended right up in heaven with his father. But he was still in the flesh, and he still, at points, probably had doubts himself. Even on the cross, he said, Father, why have thou forsaken me? You know, 
but his father didn't. It had to be his father's way. Just like it's got to be his way. He has all authority. So it's got to be his way. <laughs> Tough for us humans. We always want our way. We think we know better. We don't. There's only one person that knows the right way for all of us. And each one's individuals. My way is not someone else's or your way or anybody else's. It's my way that he knows I have to be. And he shapes that into my life. And so that I can learn and become a better person than the person he wants me to become. Praise God and thank you, Jesus. All right. I'm going to say, uh, and uh, I think I missed, like I said, I think I missed yesterday. I'm pretty sure I did. And because uh, I was pretty upset yesterday. And so that's not an excuse. I shouldn't have missed. You know, I should have done it. Even upset, I should have done it. It's so easy to say, ah, I'm upset today. I'm not going to do it. It's easy to make excuses. They're easy. The hard part is to carry through and follow through on each day, every day, right through to the end. Praise God. All right, you have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow, God willing, and in even a better frame of mind than I was the other day, because I'm getting better every day. And if I do, you know, if I have another bad day, it's okay. One thing is going to, Lord's going to be right there while I'm having him. And I can call on him and he can, he'll help me with what he can help me with, which is everything, actually. What a friend. The song, What a Friend in Jesus. <laughs> Absolute truth. Praise God. All right. Peace. Bye-bye. Love you.